Hiya, hiya. It's the irascible or erasable Joey Reynolds, not with not digital. You cannot, you can't click me off. <laughs> you can zoom past me with five or six commercials. You notice when you're watching a story on Huffington Post or one of the television things that are uh, on the internet that they stream you down and then you see one paragraph and a commercial. Another paragraph and a commercial. Another paragraph. It's like watching television. The same thing. You know, when you're watching the news at night, they give you about 10 or 15 minutes at the beginning at 6.30 on all the networks. And then after that at 6.45, it's a, a pharmaceutical commercial and then a story. It's a talk about the story and then a Geico commercial. Then one about a car. Then one about a pharmaceutical. <laughs> it's about the commercial world we live in. They can't, they cannot stop shoveling this crap. We, uh, they're supposed to pay for everything. Why is it that we are paying for cable and we pay for all these premium channels and still we have to watch commercials? See, that was the whole idea. And they started to sneak that into theaters before the movie theaters closed last year for the pandemic and now they have an Oscar award. I, I wrote to Variety and said, how can you have an Oscar award? There's nobody go to the movies. There hasn't been a movie in a year that anybody's seen in the theater with Dolby Sound and IMAX and all that. What are we doing? We're having award shows for something that didn't happen. Almost the Super Bowl almost didn't happen. Buffalo would have kicked his ass. But anyway, let's go on. <laughs> it's amazing how, how I, I'm thinking about all the things that are happening in our world, like landing on Mars. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's, I, I want to go back to the homeland. Like we haven't done enough damage here, we're going to try another planet. <laughs> That uh, probe thing landed, and it was, uh, I, I guess it's run, it, it, is it run on fossil fuel. I hope they don't run that thing on gasoline. We'd be bringing all of our problems there. You know, I mean, maybe we're going to dig for fuel. That's Yeah, that's it. <laughs> These rich guys, they get really super rich billionaires, and they want to go and see another planet. What's wrong with what's down here? You know, not, you ruined the crap out of this one, and now you want to take us somewhere else. Oh, I know, even Prince Harry doesn't want to be uh, in royalty anymore. He and his wife, uh, Meghan the bitch, they don't want to be in the uh, in, in, in royalty anymore. They've left the throne. They've, they've walked away from uh, being a prince and a princess. And who would do that? I mean, you know, nobody wants to give that up. I uh, Even, what is it, Rush Limbaugh, they call him the anchor of uh, talk radio. You know, the number one news anchor of talk radio. And I, I'm the king of, of shock radio, then, if that's the case. You know, I'm... I always wind up as the joker in the deck, incidentally. But, you know, I am the king. I'm the king of this uh, this particular genre. We don't have it anymore. You know, I mean, disc jockeys are gone. I was talking to my grandson the other day, and I said, I was the number one disc jockey in the country. And he said, what's that? <laughs> well, I guess he has the Lake Joey Reynolds in the vinyl resting place, which is where we go. And I, I'm in the groove yard, as they call it. Anyway, uh, the, the prince and the princess leaving... Uh, I, I think that's a bad move. You know, once a prince, you can leave and not be a prince anymore. But once a queen, you're always a queen. Uh, oh, that number gets taken away from you. <laughs> uh, but this whole thing about uh, being dethroned, you know. See, my father used to call me king shit. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm not giving up my throne. <laughs> I'm just going to flush it a little, that's all. Reynolds rap.